Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see an introduction of Azure Cosmos DB. Before we get into the definition, let's see the difference between SQL and NoSQL database. SQL database is table based while NoSQL database can store documents, key values, graph and weight column store. SQL database is vertically scalable while NoSQL database is horizontally scalable. SQL database is relational where non-SQL database is non-relational. Relational means that tables are related to each other by means of primary key and foreign key. This allows joining multiple tables using join condition in the query. While NoSQL database is non-relational. The SQL database is ACID compliance which allows the data to be a structured data. Well, NoSQL data is mainly for storing unstructured data like documents and JSON. In SQL database, the tables, the columns and the data types has to be created ahead of time, which means that the schema is fixed. Well, NoSQL database can have flexible schema. Cosmos DB is a platform as a service and a NoSQL database. It is a globally distributed database where the changes can be replicated to other Cosmos DB instances. The user has the flexibility to change the consistency level to replicate the changes to other Cosmos DB instances. Cosmos DB is a multimodal database that means that we can store documents, key values, weight columns and graphs in Cosmos DB. If you are working with a Cosmos DB, you need to have a Cosmos DB account in a Cosmos DB account, we can have multiple databases. A database can have multiple containers. A container is where the data actually resides. It is similar to tables in relational database. A container can have multiple items, which is similar to rows in relational database. The data will be stored in JSON format. Some of the advantages of using Cosmos DB are we can use SQL to query the items. The Cosmos DB is schema agnostic. That means that we can change the structure of the data anytime. The Cosmos DB also supports various API endpoints like Azure Table, MongoDB, Gremlin, and Cassandra database. One other advantage is that Synapse Analytics natively integrate with Cosmos DB very well. I hope you got a fair idea of why to choose the Cosmos DB database. Next, we will see the practical demo of creating a Cosmos DB account, a database, a container and some items. Here is my Azure homepage. You can create an Azure Cosmos DB account by either clicking this or you can go here and click Azure Cosmos DB. Click create to create a Cosmos DB account. Cosmos DB supports multiple APIs. You can select any one of these APIs. For the demo purpose, I am going to select Azure Cosmos DB for NoSQL. Let me click Create. We need to provide the resource group. Let me select my resource group. Tutorials. Next, we need to give an account name which should be unique. We can specify the availability zone if needed and the location, let it be East US. We can select the capacity mode. It can be either provisioned throughput or serverless. I'm going to keep it as default. We will click next. We can select the geo redundancy and multi-region rights if needed. I'm going to keep it as disabled. Let me click next. For the connectivity method, I'm going to have it as default as all networks. Let me click next. For the backup policy, we have three options, periodic, continuous seven days or continuous 30 days. I'm going to have it as default as periodic. Let me click next. The data encryption, I'm going to have it as default as service managed key. Let me click next. I'm not going to have any tags created. So let me click next. Here is the estimated time of creating the Cosmos DB account. 
in the region we selected it is 3 minutes and all the validation is successful now let's click create so the deployment is in progress the deployment is completed let's go to resource We will create a database, a container and some items. For that, let's go to Data Explorer. In order to create a container, let's click New Container. I am going to create a Cars database, Car Details. We can specify the database throughput. I am going to have it as manual. And then we can have the container name. The container name is similar to tables in relational database. I am going to have my table name as car info. We need to specify the partition key which is a mandatory field. Based on what column we are going to partition the data. I am going to have this name as company name. We can specify the unique key if you want. And the analytical store I am going to have it as default. Now let's click OK. The container and the database is created successfully. Here is the container name and here is the database name and here we can add items. We don't have any items added yet because it's a new database. In order to add items, let's click new item. Let's have my ID as 111 and the company name as BMW. We can have other columns as well. I am going to add model. My model is X3. In order to save the item, let's click save. Our item is successfully saved. We can see some system generated items also got added. Let's have one more item added. Let me click new item. Here let me specify the ID as 222. I am going to specify the company name as Toyota. And the model is Camry. I am going to specify one more column name as cost, the cost is 2000. Now let's save this item. The item is successfully saved. We have two items added here. In order to query this item, let's click this icon, new query and click execute query. Here are the two items that we added. We have one item with the ID 111 and another item with the ID 222. We have successfully created a Cosmos DB account, a database, a container and few items. I hope this video was useful and I am sure that you learned something new today. If you do like this video, please consider to subscribe and I will see you in yet another interesting video. Thank you.